Good evening Philippines, this is Mike Padua and we're back to our analysis for this Wednesday to Friday, December 1 to 3, 2021 and this brought to you by Typhoon 2000. And let's begin with our update, here's the uh, latest graph set beginning today, December 1st until tomorrow, December 2. As we predicted a few days ago, the strong surge of the northeast monsoon has already arrived and is now affecting the whole of Luzon, including the Bicol region, Mindoro, up to the northern sections of the Visayas. So expect some gale force winds of 40 and up to 60 kph. Right here in Naga City, we recorded wind speeds of up to 64 kph in our Mabulu station around 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So uh, it's now confirmed that the northeast monsoon is now blowing all the way here. And we expect this gale force winds of 40 to more than 60 kph will continue throughout the evening with some on and off passing rain showers or thunderstorms. So please take all necessary precautions if you are living in low-lying areas as well as along the coastal waters facing the Philippine Sea as these areas will remain uh, dangerous to small sea crafts. So a gale force warnings are in effect based on the Pag-asa report. And uh, mm, here along the uh, southernmost parts of the uh, Philippine Islands, Mindanao, as well as southern Palawan, and the areas of Kalayan Island Group, we have a surface trough connected with severe tropical storm Nyato. Now, this uh, severe tropical storm, uh, which is now named as Nyato, this is a Malaysian name. It is a kind of tree famous in Southeast Asia, uh, used for lumber and the furniture so this is the name of this uh, large uh, tro severe tropical storm which is expected to become a typhoon any moment from now and it's now just barely 100 kilometers to the east of the philippine area responsibility and it's uh, likely it won't enter par but we are observing this especially the formation of the eye if it will eventually move beyond 135 east longitude but uh, so far the uh, tracking is now moving barely to the north and uh, uh, that's it that's the latest on this uh, severe tropical storm it won't do any significant effect to our country it will just enhance this, the northeast monsoon but it's now uh, bringing some windy conditions across the uh, areas of Luzon as well as here in the Bicol region winds of more than uh, 40 to 60 kph okay and if we uh, take a look at the uh, uh, f uh, fast animation there you go you can clearly see here the development of severe tropical storm Nyato moving now towards the north northwest and it's likely to brush the uh, uh, eastern border of the Philippine area responsibility within, within the next uh, 24 to 48 hours and we uh, are experiencing some windy conditions here in the Bicol region. I'm going to uh, show it to you. Here's the zoom in satellite animation for windy.com. Here's the large circulation of uh, severe tropical storm Nyato. And here's the uh, mm, northeast monsoon. If we are going to zoom this map, okay, this uh, satellite animation, and we're going to move it from 2 a.m. to uh, 8 p.m. satellite animation, we can clearly see here the uh, surge of the uh, uh, stratocumulus uh, formation of these uh, clouds meaning it's, uh, it's beginning to experience some cooler weather here and it's moving downward here affecting uh, portions of uh, Bicol region so there you go so that's why we are experiencing some rainfall and strong winds because of the surge of the northeast monsoon which is expected to persist for the next two to three days, okay, before these uh, monsoonal winds will start to weaken. And if we take a look at the uh, forecast uh, tracks of all Asian agencies monitoring NATO, and uh, the system is right here, and it looks like most of them won't enter the Philippine area of responsibility. So if it won't enter par, the name uh, Odeth will not be used. Okay, so uh, that's the uh, uh, protocols of Bagasa. If the uh, storm is won't enter the Philippine or will not enter the yep. if the storm won't enter the power line or the Philippine air responsibility, the local name will not be used. Okay, 
So right now, the storm is uh, packing winds of 110 kph, just 10 kilometers shy of becoming a typhoon. So most likely tonight or early tomorrow, it will become a typhoon. While the rest of the computer models is also showing same tracking towards the uh, uh, north to northeast recurving. Okay, because of a uh, approaching uh, um, deep frontal system northeast of this severe tropical storm. Now let's take a look at the windy.com rain uh, forecast accumulation for the next three days until Friday. Still, uh, there will be some on and off rainfall with some pockets of thunderstorms across Cagayan Valley and also along the uh, Bicol region, particularly the coastal areas of uh, Caramuan Peninsula, Patito District, uh, Eastern Albay, and uh, also Catanduanes to so expect some on and off rainfall becoming more frequent along the coastal areas. But here, along the inland areas of Bigal region, particularly Camarindi Sur and um, Naga City, we are uh, likely to experience on and off rainfall as well, but with more uh, uh, but, but with wider intervals in between. The winds will uh, also uh, prevail up to uh, for 50 kilometers per hour. So 40 to 50 kph overnight. While here over the Visayas and Mindanao, particularly Sulu Archipelago and Palawan, all through the uh, Kalayan Island group, there will be some rain and, rains and thunderstorms brought about by the trough of, brought about by the surface trough, which is connected the, with the uh, severe tropical storm Nyato and the northeast monsoon along the northern portions of the Visayas, including eastern Visayas. So expect all enough rainfall to prevail within the next three days until Friday. And if we take a look at the uh, latest uh, wind and pressure forecast, you can clearly see here this strong high pressure area very near Wuhan, China, which is uh, enhancing or uh, bringing some windy conditions across Luzon, particularly the coastal areas, including the Bicol region. And uh, on Thursday afternoon, the uh, northeast monsoon will start to weaken, so expect a drop of wind from 40 to 60 kph down to uh, around uh, maybe 20 to 40 kph, so a little bit uh, uh, weaker. And uh, here comes the uh, tropical storm moving now towards the north, away from the Philippine Sea. And on Friday afternoon, the northeast monsoon will continue to prevail, but it continues to weaken. The northeast monsoon will continue to weaken uh, on Friday. We just expect winds of 20 to 40 kph across the eastern sections of uh, Luzon, extreme northern Luzon, including Batanes, as well as the Beagle region down here over northern and also down here over northern Visayas. So far, that's the latest when it comes to the wind and pressure forecast. Let's take a look now at the latest global tropics hazards and benefits outlook of the Climate Prediction Center of NOAA, valid for the next two weeks. So on the first week, valid uh, December 1st to December 7, we uh, expect uh, possible above average rainfall with high probability across uh, Visayas, uh, Mimaropa, okay, and Mindanao while the rest will have some normal weather conditions. And on week 2, valid December 8 to December 14, to the east of Mindanao, there will be already, again, a uh, possible formation of a tropical cyclone or, ty or tropical uh, depression or tropical storm uh, on between December 8 to 14, but with 50% uh, chance confidence, meaning it may push through or not. So it's still... Hanging in the middle, 50, 50 chance. So we are going to observe that next week if it will push through. And that's it. That's the latest for this evening. So no worries. This uh, typhoon, the potential typhoon outside the power won't anymore enter the Philippine area of responsibility. And if it will, it'll, uh, it will just recurve towards the northeast away from any land mass of Western Pacific. Again, from uh, Typhoon 2000, this is Mike Pada reporting. Stay safe always, be hashtag with a wiser, and thank you so much for watching our channel.